Today I'm going to be testing out the Face Atelier Lip Lock. It's described as a clear shellac that locks lipstick in place so it'll last all day with no transfer. I think the idea of like a top coat that makes any lipstick long wearing and transfer proof sounds amazing so I'm going to be testing it out with a few different formulas. And of course I'm going to be eating, drinking, and wearing lipstick with the lip lock all day to see if it actually works. The product description does warn you up front that this is a dehydrating product, so to prepare, I did a lip scrub and I used a super hydrating lip mask. I am a little concerned about how dry this is going to make my lips feel, but hopefully the prep that I did helps. I'm going to start with the glossy lipstick first. I feel like it's going to perform the worst with a product like this, but let's see. Okay, so it says to apply a generous amount of lipstick over a penciled lip and then gently blot that and then apply a thin layer of the lip lock on top. My lips are blotted, so now I'm going to take the lip lock and apply a thin layer. I am trying very hard not to get this in my mouth. Kind of, oh, it kind of burns. <laughs> I'm definitely conscious of this on my lips. Like it feels like there's something on my mouth. It's, it's an odd sensation. I don't know how to describe it. It almost feels like I just shrink wrapped my lips. Like it got slightly tighter and a little tingly. It's like very minty, weirdly. It has like a little tingly minty sensation. So let's do a little transfer proof test. I'm just gonna kiss the back of my hand to see. Okay, that worked way better than I thought it was with this kind of lipstick. But to be fair, the blotting did take a lot of the lipstick off. Next, I'm gonna try the lip lock with a cream finish lipstick. I feel like after months of not wearing lipstick, just wearing like lip oils, lip balm, lip gloss, I fully forgot how to apply lipstick. It feels so weird and foreign to me right now. I'm like, this, this. <laughs> Oh, wait, do you see that? When I talk, you can kind of see the film that the lip lock creates over the lipstick. It's not the most flattering, but I don't think it's super noticeable. Maybe it is, you tell me. <laughs> I definitely got transfer with the cream lipstick. I think because I'm avoiding going too far into my mouth. That's why that happened. So far, my lips aren't feeling super dry. I do think that they look a little bit drier than when I first started. You can see like all my lines look a little parched, but it's not terrible. It doesn't feel dry. Now I'm gonna try the lip lock with a liquid lipstick. It's so hard to say that as a sentence. <laughs> That time I tried really hard to cover every inch of my lipstick. I did get a teensy bit of transfer from my lip line. Again, this is just gonna be a matter of you covering every single inch of this lipstick to make sure that nothing transfers. But besides that, I think this is working pretty well. The last lipstick I'm gonna use the lip lock with is a matte lipstick. I saved this one for last because I feel like this formula would work best with the lip lock. Matte lipstick formulas are obviously meant to be more long wearing, but for me, the color fades pretty fast. So maybe this will help. That's literally the least amount of transfer that I've gotten so far with the lip lock. Just as I suspected, I do think that matte lipsticks are the way to go. My biggest issue with the lip lock so far is that I do think it exaggerates the lines in your lips quite a bit. I feel like my lips look drier than they feel. I've also got a clean mask here, so let's put it on and see what happens. There's definitely a little bit of transfer right there. I am definitely feeling hungry, so let's eat something and see how this lipstick holds up. It's way past lunchtime, so this is like my pre-dinner dinner. dinner. I have this gorgeous little pesto pasta salad with olive oil in it, so I have a feeling it's about to cause some trouble. I do think it held up a lot better than I thought it would, especially with all the oil in the pasta. This is actually pretty good. Now I am going to take a sip of my drink, see if anything comes off on the can. Cheers. Whoa, okay, so I got way more transfer. Do you see all my lipstick speckles? The lipstick is still looking pretty good, even with all the transfer that I got from drinking. I'm gonna keep wearing it for the rest of the day and see how it holds up. 
It's the end of the day and my makeup looks expired at this point, but here's how the lipstick is holding up. I would say from this distance, looking pretty good. The color still looks vibrant, but from up close, very patchy. It kind of separated a little and I think that the food and drink I had throughout the day did some damage. I do feel like the lip lock did help extend the color vibrancy. I have never worn a matte lipstick for this long and have still had this much of a color left behind, but the texture up close is just really not good. It doesn't look great. So I'm not sure how helpful a product like this is if I still feel the need to reapply the lipstick.